Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, today I will share with you how to bypass the iPad mini, but before we start I invite you to subscribe and follow my Facebook account to be updated on the next videos that I upload. First we will do is insert the iPad USB cord into our laptop. Next is do the recovery mode in order to read our iPad on the three utils. After that let's go to 3utools and press the go flash and download the firmware of your device and import it here in 3utools. After importing your firmware the next step is to choose the quick flash mode. Next is press the flash button. After that, we will wait for 3utools to be 100%. If the restoring is finished the next step, is do the DFU mode. If you hear a sound on your laptop, it means, you are in DFU mode, and you can double check it using this 3 utils. Next step is to boot into macOS. Reboot your laptop, and we will enter to BIOS settings to prioritize the macOS on my portable hard drive. Press F2 or delete on your laptop. Then go to boot option and priority the portable hard drive, and after that press the F10, to save the changes we made here in the BIOS settings. Next step is we will find out what is the ICP ID of our iPad. Let's open the Sliver Bypass tool. Choose RAM Disk iCloud Bypass and choose A5 device. Then choose iPad Mini 1, then press CPID. After that something will pop up like this, and you will see the CPID of your device. Next step is to open the Checkmeet, and inside of this folder open the config file of our Arduino. After that, you will put the CPID of the iPad here in the Arduino config. When you done entering the CPID of your iPad, the next step is plug in the Arduino Uno to our laptop. After that let's check if our Arduino Uno is set up correctly here in the Arduino configuration settings. Next is press the tools. Then check this option, board Arduino, we should have the same setup so just copy my setup here. As well as here in the programmer option, we should have the same setup. Next is check this serial port it should be visible here in the option. If you do not see a serial port, meaning your Arduino tool is not compatible with the macOS you are using. This is the version of my macOS, Mojave. If you have High Sierra version of macOS it is not compatible with Arduino tool, so you should change your macOS to Mojave or Catalina. When you have the High Sierra version of macOS, the Arduino port does not appear, and the only thing you will see here is the Bluetooth port. After that, if you have a serial port of the Arduino we can proceed to the next step. 
Press this upload to upload the changes we made in the config to the Arduino tool. If you notice here in the con filing sketch, if you see an error after you upload, meaning your Arduino tool is not set up properly. I did not encounter an error and finished uploading the Arduino configuration. Next is to plug in the Arduino tool on the laptop. If you done inserting the iPad USB cord into Arduino tool. The same with the USB cord of the Arduino tool into the laptop. This is the important thing you need to know when you start inserting or connect the USB cord of your iPad. The Arduino will automatically run and you will notice that the LED light blink three times and after blinking three times the LED will steady light, it means pawn DFU mode in our iPad is success. After pawn DFU mode just remove the iPad USB cord from your Arduino tool. And then just connect your iPad into laptop. And just close the Arduino configuration file, and we will return here to the Appletech 752 bypass tool. If we are already here in iPad mini one option, Just choose standard RD and press load button. After that, you will notice your iPad is running on verb use mode, and if you look in your laptop screen something will pop up with a message, standard RD sent, and just press OK button. And next is press relay device info and press yes, then press got it. After that press the delete setup button, but before that, I will show on the screen what will happen to our iPad after pressing the delete setup button. Let's press the delete setup button and you will notice the message appear on the bypass tool, iCloud bypass done, then press ok. After that let's wait for our iPad to finished boot. Okay so that's it for today I hope you learned from this tutorial. And hopefully you will press the like and subscribe button, thank you so much.